Hi everyone and welcome back to the Beginners Free CAD series for version 1. Over the last couple of lessons we've explored lofts. Now it's time to introduce a close relative, the sweep, known in the part design as a pipe. Both tools are similar in that they create complex shapes using profiles, but their applications differ slightly. Lofts are ideal for creating volume by blending a series of profiles along a simple trajectory. However, as trajectories become more complex and start to resemble paths, Lofts require multiple profiles to achieve the desired result. This is where the part design pipe tools provide a simple solution. Let's consider an example to distinguish between these tools. Imagine you want to create a shape where the cross sections are circular. If the path is straight, you could extrude quickly and easily create the shape. If the profile needs to follow a curved path, you could use a loft, but this would require multiple profiles to approximate the curve. Even if it's relatively simple, a pipe tool simplifies the workflow, especially for paths that are complex or non-linear. The pipe tools let you sweep a profile, whether it's single or multiple profiles, along a predefined path, making the process both efficient and intuitive. For example, you only need to sketch the path and a single profile. For more complex shapes, you can add multiple profiles and then leverage the attachment modes to position and orientate them along the path. By breaking the path into sections and attaching profiles using both the vertices for positioning and the edges for orientation allows for greater control and precision. Paths don't have to be limited to sketches. They also can be edges of other features. This expands the use case for the pipe tool. For example, in subtractive applications, use a subtractive pipe to follow an edge and carve out a shape. This would be similar to how a router would be used to shape an edge in woodworking. So how do we decide when to use a pipe? Let's go back to the example of a curved tube. Its cross sections are circular, but the side and front profiles differ. So the shape cannot be described with a revolve. The identical cross sections means a single profile would be sufficient. So let's analyze that side profile. If it was a straight path, we'll just use that profile in a simple extrude. If the path followed a circular arc or a complete circle, then we would use the revolve and the angle will be adjusted depending on how far around the circle we want to go. But if this path was more complex, it leads us to that final operation in the flowchart, the sweep or pipe. So to conclude, the pipe tool is best for shapes where the profile follows a non-circular, non-linear path. It simplifies the creation of objects by letting you define a path and sweep the profile along it. If we think of the term pipe, it also hints to a practical use for the tool. And that is piping and trunking. And we'll explore that in our next video. We'll teach you how to create this exhaust pipe. And I'll share with you some tips of how to create successful pipes along the way. So I hope you enjoyed that video. And I hope to see you in the next lesson. If you like what you've seen and you want to donate to the channel, then you can do so via Ko-Fi or Coffee at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0 or via PayPal at paypal.com forward slash paypalme forward slash Darren B. E. Stone. I also run a Patreon where you can get early access and additional content. And that's at patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Links can be found in the channel header on the about page or in the descriptions of these videos. I thank everybody that's donated so far. It really helps to keep the lights on so I can produce more content and also expand the channel. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing to these videos. And I hope to see you again in the next one.